This is obviously a femtosecond laser assisted cataract surgery. We've had the catalyst femtosecond laser now for about 18 months and find that about 25 to 30 percent of my patients offer this precision. The advantage of softening the lens is the conversion of the solid nucleus into partially adherent columns. A potential issue is that the fragments of nucleus are now no longer able to fully occlude the lumen of the needle and that's where venturi vacuum can really shine. Vacuum systems differ in how the vacuum is created. At occlusion, once all flow ceases, the vacuum types are the same. Now, the action of fluid in the anterior chamber is dictated by flow. Vacuum only takes effect once the fluid and fragments reach the threshold of the needle. Flow is the effect that brings free material to the tip of the needle. In the beginning of the case, when the nucleus is still intact, the tip of the phaco needle is brought into approximation with the surface of the cataract. Flow has very little effect in this stage of the case, except to draw in stray particles as power is applied. As the tip is occluded, either with peristaltic or venturi vacuum, the system applies force to the preset maxima as the foot pedal is depressed. Once the occlusion breaks, the distinction between the two vacuum systems becomes apparent. In peristaltic vacuum, the pump is controlled by sensors that detect the loss of occlusion and restores flow to the preset level. In Venturi vacuum, the control is through the foot pedal, and the vacuum level is the same whether occlusion is present or not. Flow is restored in a Venturi system as the occlusion breaks, but this is dictated by the force of the vacuum, not by a setting in the machine. This case clearly identifies the advantages of Venturi vacuum. First, the speed at which vacuum is created can be much faster compared to a peristaltic system. Second, at lower levels of vacuum, the effect is more constant as compared to a peristaltic system which can fluctuate based on the relative occlusion status of the tip. I'm using the Packer Dewey radius tip from MST which has a 21 gauge lumen and a 22 gauge outer dimension. This needle configuration allows for the most precise delivery of power and application of vacuum by confining the effects to the smallest tip. Yet because the outer wall is smaller still, the irrigation flow has considerable space for egress even through the 2.2 millimeter incision. One of the other features of the White Star Signature Pro system is a bit of a legacy. I'm using the dual linear foot pedal which allows for a variable rise in vacuum magnitude simply by swinging my foot, in the, this case, to the right. I found it a bit challenging at first, but by accident found if the foot pedal is canted to the left, one has to learn to avoid the dual linear control because your foot will naturally kick the pedal to the right. Like anything we adopt in our surgical armory, practice is at what it takes to make it seem natural. With the White Star Signature Pro system in Venturi vacuum on femtosecond cases, it seems very natural at this point.